Welcome to a brand new episode of Yuya, podcast for you, members of the Itchy Soul Playground. Quick housekeeping as ever, itchysoul.co to find out more and join us if you're listening along and you're not already a member. Now, with that said, today's today's episode is a little bit of a personal one because what I'm about to share with you is definitely something that was like a, it kind of hit me. Do you know sometimes where this thought pops in your head, you're like, ugh, okay. So the title of today's episode is, are you playing small or where are you playing small and I want to challenge you to to invite God to ask you to illuminate those either areas of your life or different things that are ahead of you where you're maybe playing small and staying safe now the 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 context for this episode is uh is there's a there's a guest post on my list of things there's a there's a there's a site called daily ps and I've oh months ago I God led me to sign up and and offer guest posts and I still haven't written one and then COVID happened I used that as an excuse and then one thing after another so much so that eventually this week okay God I asked him what you know what's the plan could you give me some some insights into into moving forward how can we grow the playground for example and guest posting came up again and the reminder write a post for the daily PS I'm like okay fine so it's on my list of things to do today and so well not even today it was on my list of things to do this week was to write a post but in order to not terrify myself too much, I broke it down into little pieces. So I started off by saying, OK, God, what are we going to write about? And we had the topic. And I there's um, a community like a um, what's it called? Mighty Networks um, platform for this particular site for the, for the writers. So yesterday I proposed I almost forgot, but I right before bed last night, I wrote a little post and said, this is what God suggested I write about. Is that something you'd be interested in? And then when I woke up this morning and there was no reply, I'm like, okay, can't do it today then. (laughs) And then about an hour or so ago, I had a reply in the positive, an enthusiastic reply saying, yes, I'd really like to hear that. I'm like, oh, okay, I need to write it now. And I thought, yes, but of course I need to get the, you know, get the Holy Spirit love note down. I need to do the podcast. And all these other things came up and, you know, maybe there won't be time. And the reality that hit me was actually, yet time, time we are, there is a constraint around time. But time is also quite flexible and bendy-wendy. And, you know, what's that uh, Doctor Who? Timey-wimey. It's that flexible stuff. You know, we talk about God's timing and sometimes we, we say, oh, it's not in God's timing, as if that's a slow thing. But sometimes God's time is really fast. And I've had, I've given you this example before, how five out of six of my quarter one goals were done by the end of January, for example. Probably because God knew what was coming up <laughs> later on in March, quite possibly, I'm just saying. So God, just because we say, oh, God's timing doesn't necessarily mean it has to be slow. It's about paying attention and listening. And the real conviction I got was that, oh, look, you're, yes, I want you to do the podcast, says God. Yes, I want you to write the Holy Spirit love notes and send those out. But those are the things that you enjoy doing. You know how to do them. You're sharing them with people who you are in community with. It's safe. Now, that doesn't mean that safe isn't needed. That doesn't mean that safe isn't valuable. But sometimes God is calling you to to stretch a little bit and to move outside of your comfort zone. And the really lovely thing about moving outside of your comfort zone, of course, is it really does cause you to go, "Okay, God, if we're going to do this, I really need you to help me. And so the nudge I got was, look, just get on and write the post. I mean, yes, I am recording this first, but I'm looking at the clock. There is time to do this get it uploaded and sent to you. And then I'm going to sit down and write the post. And by all means, check in with me. (laughs) If you uh, if you listen to this quite soon and you listen to it on Wednesday, by all means, check in with me. Ask me how, how that's going, because that accountability piece can be really valuable. But the reminder that sometimes we we make excuses and we hold ourselves back. Now, you've got to pay attention and and. Because sometimes that resistance we can feel is God going, whoa, hold your horses. I've given you the example before of the UEA Games. The very first UEA game was recorded, I think, at the end of last year. I can't remember. I know it was definitely before I painted my walls yellow. And so that, and that happened in March. Uh, so we actually have a, a very concrete reminder of, of the gap that happened between game one and game two. Because last year I recorded the first game and then I felt this real sort of holding backness from God as if to say you've gone too fast for this L you're running away and you know you're filling in all the blanks let's do this together that was the message and the reminder I got so sometimes you are going to feel that holding backness and that can be God going okay not yet but other times that resistance is us it's us staying safe 
playing small, and this ties in actually with, with today's Holy Spirit love note as well, this idea that you are here to thrive and to shine and to show up full to the top with God's love. And you can go out there and be church, be God's love to other people, people who might never ever step inside the four walls of the church. And so that's the other part of this as well, is that when we stay safe, when we do the things that are the, let's be honest, the easy bits, the fun bits, the bits that we know how to do, we can still do those things through God's power. I'm not suggesting that when you do the, the safe things that you're you're doing them by your own steam all the time. Like the Holy Spirit love note, that wasn't me going off on my own doing that. But at the same time, there is that challenge. Okay, well, is it time to stretch and, and move outside of your comfort zone a little bit? Now, I needed that reminder for me personally. And as that landed in my head, that reminder, I was like, okay, God, yep, yeah, I'll get on and write it. I did hear that nudge. Well, actually, that reminder will be useful for other people too you <laughs> which is why then I'm very quickly recording this episode so I can share it with you and then I'm going to go and write that blog post incidentally in case you're interested the blog post in case you're wondering what the title was I haven't got a title yet but it's all about um it ties in with yesterday's episode about the reticular activating system and happiness and goal setting uh, and so I'm, I'm really excited about it so it's not as if it's a topic that I don't love that's the other part of it sometimes those things where we feel ourselves stretching and we can feel ourselves holding back they might not even be things that on the face of it terrify us. Sometimes it's the context. So let's be honest, writing a blog post about something that I'm really passionate about and something that I get really geeky and excited about, you know that. At the same time, doing that for a brand new audience, it brings up, oh, well, what if they don't like it? What if this? Oh, but that, you know, all those things. And actually, if we're gonna be saying, well, we're doing this thing with God, we've got to trust the process. We've got to trust that, you know, someone bigger and more loving and more gracious than us knows what's going on. And even if I write that post, and it comes back and they either go, no, we don't want it or no, it, you know, please edit it or whatever they say, that will be fine too. We'll either find a new home for that post or I will edit it or it will just be one that never goes out there. We, I say we, me, but maybe you too, need to as much as possible, God helping us, become a little bit less attached to the outcome. You know, we ask God, okay, God, show me. So he shows us and then we go, oh, no, that's a bit scary. <laughs> it's time to stop playing safe. It's time to step up. If God has given you a clear indication of something that he's, he's encouraging you to do, do it. Maybe you can do it right now. What's that first step you can take towards doing that thing right now? I would encourage you to take that action. And of course, share it in the playground. We can celebrate with you. If you want the accountability, that's what the goals pod is for. You know, we can do this together. You don't have to do it on your own. So with that said, I'm going to go and write the first draft of this blog post. Looking at the time, there is enough time to actually write it and get it done. So check in with me later and I shall let you know how that goes. And in the meantime, thank you as ever for being here. And I shall see you in the playground very, very soon. Take care. Bye bye.